welcome back to the channel welcome if it's your first time and welcome back home again to Indiana Headed for some coffee and a donut. Jack's Donuts. The original Jack's Donuts opened here in 1961 here in Newcastle, Indiana. My hometown. There it is. The Tiger Tail Donut. I think it's the most popular donut, Jack's Donuts. For my family it always has been. Coffee Donut. Also right next to Jack's Donuts, closed for the season. Dairy Queen. This Dairy Queen, my mom, this was her first job ever. My mom worked here. Back in, uh, would have been back in the late 70s. Right next to Jack's Donuts, there's the old sign. Right here on 103 on the south side of Newcastle. Freaking delicious, just as always. Mount Summit Cemetery, established in 1870. Mount Summit Cemetery. Spent a lot of time in here unfortunately. Four acres of many of my ancestors buried right here including several of my great great grandparents. Several sets of them. Walking over here to show you something. Mount Summit. Originally named because back then at that point this was known as the highest elevation point in Indiana, but later would be debunked. Hoosier Hill on the Ohio line, not too far from here, about 38 miles, was discovered to be the true highest elevation point of Indiana. But before then, Mount Summit held the title. Mount Summit was where my grandfather grew up. This was his hometown. Actually, you can see the water tower across State Road 3 over there. That's that's downtown. He was a boy here, a teenager. A lot of history up here in Henry County. And it all began with fencing. This fence right here, this stretch of fence right here was built by my father and myself back in about 2000, maybe 99. And uh, my father, like his father before him, owned a fence company, and that's what they did. There's a lot of fences around Henry County that were built by my dad and my grandfather, and some by myself when I was a kid. It was my first job. I'll show you something. This little notch right here on this corner post, right there, you see the angle? of this 4x4, that is a signature cut. My grandfather invented it. My dad did this one, my dad and myself. If you see a fence like this, a corner set like this in Henry County, it's one there, one there, and it's notched like that, that means my family built this fence. That's our signature notch. So I always enjoy running around these uh, country roads every time I visit and seeing those, because I know my dad, or my grandfather, built it. And specifically, we built this one right here in the Mount Summit Cemetery. I remember that like it was yesterday. I mean, it feels like it was yesterday. 
Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if it's your first time. I've been wanting to create this video for quite a while. It's been a it's been a busy couple months. The haunt season, Halloween season, uh, running around doing haunts, uh, conventions, some filming locations, traveling. Chris the girl and I uh, just been having the time of our lives and we're so grateful and thankful for everyone who joined in vicariously um, on both channels and um, thank you guys it's November Thanksgiving's coming up and uh, it's a season of thanks and I wanted to start this one off by thanking everyone and letting them know how much it means to me that you guys chime in and uh, you know let me know that you enjoy the videos thank you so much as I've always said from the beginning this wouldn't be the same without you I absolutely love firing up this camera and um, making videos documenting my experience when I first started this channel it was a bit of an experiment and but most definitely when I started it was an escape from reality for myself not that what I'm filming is not real but it was a uh, kind of a distraction you know going through hard times just like you guys do every day out there um, I felt that picking up the camera and going out and, you know and just simply you know vlogging stuff documenting stuff and having fun with it was the medicine I needed and till this day it always has been anything happens bad in my life um, you know if I have a bad day I always look forward to firing up the camera and going out and making a video um, part of that is the two things I just mentioned both parts is I get to share stuff with you guys and I get to go out and have fun and when I was a kid I wanted first time I ever watched a movie over the castle theater that I showed at the end of the last video um, first place I watched a movie I, first time I ever stepped foot in that theater and I I saw the big screen and um, started watching you know movies as a kid I wanted to do that I wanted to make movies and at one point I wanted to do you know be an actor star in movies I've just always been that big into cinema and I always will be and that's a big inspiration here on this channel is um, I always try to make it a cinematic adventure even though I don't know what I'm doing half the time and again simply just fired up the camera and hit and record and it's all fun you know those out there that have their own channels I'm preaching to the choir they know they know how much fun it is and I'm just grateful for that fun and everything I've done and been able to do and you know busy guy I, I I work 40 hours a week you know I have to to support myself and you know the channel um, for many years my regular job has funded my travels here and um, I'm very grateful for the achievements I've gotten lately uh, the last couple years the channels really bumped up and I have done really nothing different but just the same thing I've been doing five years but you guys you know you've made it possible you know clicking and watching and uh, and I really look forward to all that it's it's all fun the point of this video um, I knew I had to come up here to Indiana uh, almost two or three days ago my grandfather uh, fell and um, he's very bad and uh, he's in a home right now he's doing better but his condition um, is stable but not getting better right now uh, my grandfather oh man I love my family they always come first and I spent a lot of time with this particular grandpa when I was a kid and um, you know he's just my adventure buddy and every time we come up we've actually spent a lot of time in the cemetery together going around and pointing at headstones and him telling me how I'm related to my ancestors and people he knew we'd go around you know just just travel back roads talking do that every time we can't do that this time because unfortunately he you know he can't get out of bed spent all day yesterday with him and I'm gonna spend all day today after I make this short video I'm on my way there you know that's been stressful um, everyone knows when you say man sucks to get old or hey I hate seeing you know my loved ones 
get old. They all know, I think, you know, most people know how hard that is and how it sucks to see the people you love get old and deteriorate and, you know, pass away. The thing I'm about to mention, um, I'm, I just want you all to know that I'm doing good. I'm okay emotionally and um, I've been through the ringer uh, last couple years and uh, thankfully for you guys and thankfully uh, because of Chris the girl uh, being an awesome super supportive girlfriend she's my rock I have I have uh, a good mental I have good mental stability after the emotional uh, things and sorrow that I've faced the last couple years and sometimes I mention it sometimes I don't because sometimes I'm I'm super busy and I want to hit fi I want to fire up the camera and get in to the videos and and make sure the channel goes because that's what I need that's what gives me part of my mental stability through situations that happen to me on my regular you know my regular everyday uh, get-go back in August I uh, I lost a dear friend my grandmother someone that meant so freaking much to me and uh, it ripped my heart out she was a subscriber she was a supporter since the time of my birth from me channel my whole life we spent a lot of time with each other many weekends down in Florida my grandparents were snowbirds they have a home in Wildwood had a home and they would come down at each weekend to Tampa and spend time with myself and my parents and that went on for 15 16 years and prior to we lived here in Indiana every Sunday every holiday we were at grandma's house and um, you know, one one time I uh, I got hurt, I broke my foot, and Grandma flew down um, to take care of me for a week. And um, I want to uh, dedicate this video to Grandma. She was a subscriber, and she supported she supported me and uh, all of her grandkids and all of her brothers and sisters had one heck of a mother and a grandmother and it was a it was a huge blow back in August and I didn't announce what was going on just because uh, it was just too much and I just wanted to keep keep going um, you know keep the adventures going that I heavily planned for the September October season and I know now that's what I needed to do because you guys this thing right here is a big reason you know um, why I stay strong and I really I really really am grateful that I can get through um, some of the things I've been through because I know there's much ahead and a few days after grandma passed I drove up here from Florida passed through Kentucky got some fried chicken you may remember that vlog but it was after that that I was on my way up here to spend time with my family and mourn and go to my grandma's funeral, which was one of the toughest things I've ever had to do. And I just want to, I don't want this to be a sad moment. I want this to be, um, this is actually, for me, it's getting a load off my chest and it's putting closure on the situation, um, you know, I've been mourning and uh, I've been thinking about my grandma a lot in the back of my mind um, making videos the last couple months and I just want to shout out to my beautiful amazing family and I have been praying for you my thoughts have been devoted to them you know they've been through so much grandma was a a beautiful woman inside and out our whole lives did everything for her family and she was hilarious and we used to joke about everything and I can still I can still see her right here with us and I know she's still with us today she's definitely in in my heart forever I can feel her and I can see her at times just because 
you know, that's my grandma. And she was a subscriber. She actually commented a couple times in the comment section. And uh, I just want you all to know that that's what happened. And um, we lost a great person a couple months ago. And there's no one that will ever, ever replace her. My grandma, Margie. An amazing soul, a jolly soul. Loved her family to death, did absolutely everything for them. Born in Kentucky and um, married my grandfather. I think they were 16 or 17, pretty young back then. And they lived here in Newcastle all their lives and raised six children. One of them being my mother. And my family has been so close. The closest family um, that I know. And I'm, I'm so grateful and appreciative of that. That we've always clung together. My cousins are like my brothers and sisters. And they always have been. And family comes first and I've always made time for them. And I always come up here to spend time with them. And anytime there's a family emergency, you know, I'm here. Or they're there for me. Losing grandma, very hard. And um, she was just an amazing, amazing person. And we spent so much time together and I can close my eyes and I can see her there. And I can feel her in my soul. I don't want this to be a sad moment. Um, this is more of a kind of a, a release for me to put it out there in the world to let you guys know what I have been going through. But a reminder to everyone to tell the people they love or that you love them, spend time with them, hug them. If you're in some kind of a dispute, if you haven't talking or spoken, there's my Indiana coming out. If you haven't spoken to someone you know you should in a long time there's nothing wrong with saying sorry even if you're not sorry at all just to mend a bridge a bridge that you know it's necessary do it there's always much ahead my friends that statement it's not a silly slogan it's everything because no matter who you are or what you're going through when you die, this place will still be here. It's your time on earth that counts the most. And do the best to make it count. Yes, I believe there's much ahead for you in this life and in the next, but it's here, this gift that we've been given that means so much. A lot of questions. Why are we here? What are we doing here? But there's no question at all about love and the emotions you feel for those who you love. And that's what's most important. We know that as truth because we feel it and we breathe it every day. And when people pass away, it sucks. Lost, lost my dad last year. So tough. Lost grandma this year. Very tough. But there's much ahead for me. I know. Because I have you guys, I have Chris the girl, I have my mom, I have my brother, and so many awesome and dear friends. And we can't help our situations, we just have to keep going, put, putting one foot in front of the other. And I know this in my heart, and this, what I've just spoken to you is what keeps me strong. And also, you know, many things. This video was a long time coming. It's not the typical kind of content, um, you know, I put out there, but I just feel like I needed to express myself today and to update, you know, everyone. There's a lot of people that don't know friends that my grandma passed away. There's some that do. And uh, they didn't know, they probably didn't know I was going through that. And, and that's and my apologies because I've just been so busy with everything. But I know now that's that's what I needed to do. That's who I am. I need to keep myself busy when times are hard. You know, it, it keeps it keeps me sane. And um, I really, really appreciate you guys being here and watching the videos and supporting me. You know, 
whether it's a silly haunted house video or a filming location or a theme park, whatever you clicked on, whatever you originally subscribed, that type of content, just know there's much ahead of that to come. It's very diverse uh, here on this platform and it will always be that way. It's just who I am. Whatever I'm doing, what's before me, what clicks, that's what comes out. And um, I've always been that way. My grandmother was that way too. She was a great lady. We laughed it up so many times here on this earth and we're doing it together in our hearts. And I believe with all my heart, I will see both my grandma and my father again someday because there's much ahead. And that's what, that's another thing that keeps me strong. I just want to thank everyone so, so much. I can't thank you enough again. Thanks for watching, being a part of this channel. Your support, your prayers, everything, your comments, everyone I've met, you know, that's been involved with this channel, who's ever, you know, clicked on these videos. I really appreciate you guys. So many good friends out there in the background always um, reaching out to me, um, leaving those kind, heartfelt, supportive comments. That means everything to me. I, mean, I I'm. Sometimes I'm good with words, sometimes I'm not. But please know the truth is, I care for you guys. And love you all. Thank you so much. That being said, I've got to uh, get back in the rental car, spend the whole day with my family. And tonight I gotta fly back to Tampa because I gotta work, I gotta go back to my job. And before you know it, I'll be back here again and uh, we've got many plans here on this channel for the rest of the year and uh, Chris and I are going to be spending some good time together uh, this coming weekend. It's been a a very fast paced uh, haunt season so we thought we'd uh, take time to spend with family so that's what we're doing the next couple weekends spending time with family and we'll be firing up the camera wherever we're going what's before us we have some plans we'll make some videos and we'll hang out together because we love it. Thank you guys. That's the spirit of this video, is thankfulness. I'm very grateful for that sentiment. Yeah. All right, that's the video. That's it, thank you guys. I hope you all have a good day and uh, whatever you're doing, you know, I hope you enjoy it and I hope everyone's safe and healthy and having a good time. Thank you. Know you're awesome, know you're loved, and know no matter who you are, what you're going through, there's always much ahead for you. Always, my friends. See you next time. Bye-bye.